Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. So today I wanted to talk about something that's that's very important to me, and that is the kind of person that we become, right? So whatever we do in our lives, whatever environments we put ourselves in affects who we are, right? There's a whole nature versus nurture debate and, you know, how much, you know, on either side, you know, people can parse out. But at the end of the day, it's undeniable that the environments that you put yourself in and the people who you spend time with have a major, major, major impact on you. So for example, <laughs> to use a, a, you know, a very horrible example, um, they say prison changes people. It's not possible to go to prison for a couple of years and come out and be the same person, right? Well, if you're in the prison of a shitty job, it's gonna change you too, right? Likewise, the opposite. If you are in an environment that's uplifting and inspiring, then it's going to make you into a better person. So I wanted to kind of dive into that, dive into a couple, di bleh, bleh, start over there. <laughs> dive into a couple different aspects of how that plays out and you know, kind of just put that on your radar so you can be aware of it. Because most people don't realize, like if you think about it, you gen most people, you know, you got 168 hours in a week. You sleep for about a third of them. So that's what that's, you know, that takes you down to about 112 hours. Um, and then, you know, if you work 40 to 60 hours a week, that means you're spending one third to one half of your waking life at work. So guess what? You're going to take on the actions and the thoughts and the beliefs and the energy of that environment and of the people in that environment. So let's break it down. Right. So first off. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit scratchy throat there, right? So first off, let's talk about actions. So there is they've actually they've done studies. They found that there is a particular kind of nerve cell called a mirror neuron, right? And what this the only thing that these neurons are designed to do is to get you to mimic the other people around you. And this, the reason this is so important is that back in you know in the old caveman days, right? If you didn't act like somebody in your tribe and they thought you were not part of your tribe, you could get killed, right? Likewise, the tribe needed to have some, some way of telling who was part of the tribe and who wasn't. So humans are just innately wired to mimic those people around them. So if you're in a work environment where people, you know, blame instead of taking responsibility, where they lash out at each other, where they do all this kind of stuff, then your brain's going to start wiring itself to emulate that behavior, right? And you can resist it and you can fight it and you can, you know, stop it. And then that causes a great deal of internal stress because you're fighting your very biology, right? And I, I mean, I mean, I'm sure you've seen this. I'm sure you've seen that, like, if you hang out with a certain person or a certain, you know, group of people, you'll start to just unconsciously pick up their behaviors and you'll start to act like them. And that's why there's that one quote, I can't remember who said it, the five people who you spend the most time with are going to determine who you become. Well, it's the same thing. This is the exact reason, right? And that's just at the action level. The other thing that happens, and again, this is really unconscious, is what happens at the belief level and the thought level, right? So if you're in an environment day in and day out where people have certain beliefs and they're saying certain things and there are certain assumptions that underlie every interaction, right? then you're gonna end up picking up on those. You're gonna end up starting to believe those. Even if you consciously know that you shouldn't believe those, even if you consciously know it's bullshit, it doesn't matter. There's a part of you that will, right? And and it, this is, you know, people have gone in and they found, you know, like, especially like when people are growing up, they internalize a lot of beliefs. Well, if you're at a job where the beliefs are negative, where people say, oh, well, yeah, you know, you can't do this, you have to do this, you have, I mean, one that was really common where I used to work at BCG was, if you're not working 60 to 100 hours a week, you're not devoted and you're not gonna make it in this world and blah, 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 mm -hmm. right? And that was the, the, the way that people went about things. And I started to internalize that, you know? And I didn't realize that until a lot later because that's how these things work, they're insidious. You don't realize them immediately, right? But at the end of the day, right, that was something I ended up having to weed out. Right. So, you know, that, that's that's one thing where, you know, you really want to be paying attention. By the way, I'm sorry that I, if there's a little bit of beeping, people are, are, are sending me um, messages um, because the, anyway. So anyway, so, yeah. So when, when it comes to your beliefs, you're going to pick that up. Now, perhaps the hardest thing to avoid picking up is energy. So if you're in a situation where the overall energy where you are is negative, where the overall energy where you are is, you know, 
conflict where the overall energy where you are is low energy, depressed or exhausted or, you know, rush, 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 burnout, whatever that energy is, you're going to end up picking up on it. It is unavoidable that it, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a law of the universe that if you're around people who have a certain kind of energy, you're going to pick up on that energy unless you consciously, consciously, consciously fight it on a daily basis, every minute, every second of every day, which is is something that's very difficult for, for most people to do. And unless you've been trained in that, it's 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 something that you, you're not going to be able to do. So if you're in a negative environment, then you're going to be picking up that energy and you're gonna carry that into the rest of your life because ultimately that's what this is all about. Is it's not just about, hey, listen, you picked up a bad behavior. Oh, listen, you picked up, you know, a bad belief. Oh, listen, you picked up some bad energy. Ultimately, it's about the kind of person you become because when you accumulate that every day, every week, every year, then, and you're in a crappy environment, then you become a shadow of who you could have been. May right? ultimately your light, your intrinsic nature gets covered up in all this muck and you don't become the person that you want to be. You become someone who you're ashamed of, you become someone who you're guilty about, you become someone who's not happy with life, right? Now, here's the best part, though, is that the alternative is also true. Because as bad as that is, you can also turn the tables. So if you put yourself into an environment that is uplifting, that is inspiring, that has people that you look up to, that gives you joy in what you do, then everything we just talked about is going to go into reverse, right? And you're going to become a better version of yourself. So this is one reason why, um, you know, so like I'm, I happen to be in a, in a mastermind with a bunch of other amazing entrepreneurs. And, you know, there's some people who are like, hey, listen, we're going to leave this mastermind because it's expensive, right? And so I was like, okay, well, that that's, you know, that you do that, right? But I can't do that because for me, it's not about the money or the business or, you know, the knowledge and all of that stuff is great. Don't get me wrong. But it's about the person that I'm becoming. It's about the fact that I'm growing more rapidly than I than I otherwise would, um, and and so if you look at everything we just talked about, look at how that influences the other way. Let's say you're in an environment and you have a mentor who you can really trust and rely on, and is really great. You're going to start picking up their good habits. You're going to start learning how to act like them. You're going to learn how to be steady in conflict. You're going to learn how to understand other people, and you're going to pick it up subconsciously. Those mirror neurons will work in your favor. Likewise, if you're in an environment where people are self-affirming, where they're affirming your value as well, where people believe that other human beings are intrinsically valuable, where people believe that you can live the life that you want, and that you should never settle and that you can have it the way you want. If you're in that environment, then guess what? You're going to start internalizing those beliefs too. And those beliefs may clash with your old beliefs. That can happen. But then guess what? If you stay in this environment, then this side has reinforcements and this side doesn't. And, at the, and then at the end of the day, you're going to end up becoming converted and you're going to take on beliefs that are empowering instead of beliefs that are toxic. And finally, the energy, right? If you're in a supportive, empowering, inspirational environment, then you're going to start taking on that good energy and you're going to bring that energy and those behaviors and those thoughts into every other area of your life. You're going to bring it into your relationships with your spouse or your kids or your friends or whoever. You're going to bring it into the way you talk to yourself. You're going to bring it into the actions that you take. You're going to bring it into your hobbies. You're going to bring it. It's going to even your health, right? When you when you have that good energy and you have that lack of stress because you have those good beliefs, all that kind of stuff is going to make you healthier. All of this, it's, it creates this chain reaction, right? And so if you have something that you love, that you're enthusiastic about, this is why, why I talk about purpose. If you have something that you love, right, that's an environment where you're going to meet challenges and you're inspired to overcome them. And that kind of environment is going to be conducive to your well-being. It's going to be conducive to you getting stronger because you're going to have a challenge that you want to rise to face. Okay. And, and, and the difference between that kind of environment where you're growing every day, where you're becoming a better version of yourself and, and some shitty prison-like job where you're in a cubicle becoming, you know, just every day becoming grumpier and grumpier and grumpier. It, it is perhaps the single most important choice you're ever going to make. So guys, that is, that is what I want to talk about today was the person you're becoming. And I'm going to type in a link here. Octopus Institute. You guys may have seen this link before, but so 
if you're realizing that, hey, listen, you're in an environment that's not tolerable, if you're in an environment that's causing you to become a version of a, a crappier version of yourself, and you say, hey, listen, if I'm here for another 10 years or 15 years, then I'm not going to be the person I want to be. Or you're saying, hey, listen, I would much rather go into an environment that is going to challenge me, that is going to inspire me, that is going to motivate me to become the best version of myself that I can possibly be and to grow and to develop. And I'm ready to rise and meet those challenges and get the rewards, right? If that's what you want to do, then great. Go to this link, www.oculusinstitute.com slash scheduling, and we can talk. We can say, hey, listen, you know, where are you? What's going on? We can get clear on how it's affecting you. And we can get clear on where you want to go and the kind of person you do want to become. And then we can figure out how to get you there. So, guys, I look forward to speaking and I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one.